you, you talk about mama, see, and she looking like, who are you? <laughs> because you allowed the world to set in. You allowed the world to get on the inside. You allowed the world to take hold of it. And so many the people now, they want to be open to so much stuff. Christians and non-Christians. I heard a Christian on a job when we was witnessing and talking to one with another. And then as soon as we got on the subject about lesbians and, and, and gay, she told me, well, I don't, it don't really bother me. So I ought to be wrong. Yes. Yes. And she said, I don't really too much care for that. And I, I, and you really don't have to go to church. All you have to do is read your Bible. There's a lot of churches out there ain't right. There's a lot of stones out there ain't right. There's a lot of church. Come on, why do we have to put the church down? Let's put some of this other stuff that you complaining about down. you believe in. You ought to speak up for the whole, come on somebody. The Bible said you deny me before me and I would deny you before my father. You ought to say what you got to say and just leave it alone. That's why I love the way Jesus responds to opposition. And when, and when they criticize him for healing the crippled woman in Luke 13 on the Sabbath day, he said, well, what if your ox and your ass fall in the ditch, would you not put them out on the Sabbath day? And that was the end of that conversation. And then if you go read later down, it'll say, and they marvel. Because it was amazing. See, sometimes people try to say stuff to you to get under your skin. But all you got to say is one or two words, and, and that'll kill the whole conversation. People who hate success believe that they are not going to have any. See, see, people, some people don't want you to grow. Some people don't want you to have a new sight with a renewed mind. But the Bible says here in the text at verse 19, it says, And when he had received me, he did what? He was strengthened. Then saw certain days with the disciples which were at Damascus, and straight away, straight away, he preached. Oh, uh, he, 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 he didn't wait till he pulled oil on him. To preach. He need a pulpit help me hold it to preach. Come on, somebody. You don't need a pulpit to preach. Your pulpit is right in front of your feet. You can stand right there in front of your side and say, This is my pull, and I'm pulling you out of the pit. And straight away, he preached. Christ. Oh, help me hold it up. See, he had a new sermon now. He was preaching that old crazy stuff. Scientology and breathing right and yoga and all that stuff. All you got to do is just meditate for about 30 minutes and you'll be all right. You can meditate, lay on your back, lay to the side, let them mass toxins out of your body with a massage. But if you still got a financial burden, I don't care what you do it, how you do it, however you do it, if God don't intervene and work it out, you still got the same problem. But all that heard him were amazed and said, Is not this he that destroyed them which called on this name in Jerusalem and came here for that intent that he might bring them bound unto the chief priests? See, when you got saved, some folk was amazed. They said, Not the Dick Jones idol. They didn't say Dick, they said Curtis Jones. Uh, now, no, no, he a what? A deacon? Uh, in who church? Uh, oh, hell no. They said the same thing about you. The Bible said that a man is not received of his own kinsmen in his own country. You got some folk in your family don't even care nothing about you, especially when you done got saved. They come and you play in church. They come and you just faking and anointing. But I come to tell you that when the Holy Spirit hits you, you may be like church. Start wrapping his presence in your heart until you ain't got no 
choice but to see things different. You ain't got no choice but to line up with the vision. I come to tell you, God can do a lot just with one. You better look at Moses. Had a speech in Bethlehem in the book of Exodus chapter 5. But the Bible says, whole mouthpiece is it? Who did I give it to you? All I got to tell you to do is go to the king and tell him, don't worry about what to say. Open your mouth and I'll fill it with something to say. Oh, all God needs is just one. Somebody just to stand up and just be one. Say, I'm going to stand up for the cause of Christ. I'm going to follow the vision that's been set before me. All it takes is one. Moses led the children of Israel into the wilderness, but it took a young man like Joshua. Help me, Holy Ghost. I can preach this thing. It took a young man like Joshua, the lot for the children of Israel, to march around the wall seven times. He said the seven times, yell. Some things you ought to start yelling at and say in the name of Jesus and watch the wall. Restoration because of the children of Israel was messing up. And he brought restoration morally and spiritually unto the children of Israel. And then after Ezra, it took Nehemiah, the one who bring construction and reconstruction to the walls of Jericho. Sometimes God had to reconstruct you, He had to make you over because some things that He needs for you to go, you can't go with that on your back. You can't go bring a sweet willy and Jericho juice and Lele and Tasha and Tina. No, you gotta let them Negroes go and say in the name of Jesus, if I can walk by myself, I gotta do mine and we know the power. Oh, help me, Holy Ghost. I ain't afraid to come out here. In the Bible say that they're from his eyes. Escape. Escape. See, some people can't grow because they want to flip the scale of scale on the eyes. The scales has fallen, but they done took some glue and some type of crazy glue and glue them back up. Like some people glue eyelashes. So they got the scales just hanging on the eyelashes. But God is saying, I'm trying to release you from some stuff. I'm trying to release you from some people. But you still want to hold on to them. And God said, if you just let the scales fall, and when they fall, don't look back, don't look at them, just start walking over that stuff. In the name of Jesus. Holy Ghost. If you don't perceive it right, you can't receive it right. Oh, it's how you view it. See, if I'm thirsty, you look at a half a cup of water, you say it's half empty. It's half empty to you, but I'm thirsty. So it's half full to me. Oh, uh, help me, Holy Ghost. You have to be relentless. You have to be persistent. You have to be relentless for the Lord. You have to be relentless. That's what the Bible says. Seek ye first. Seek ye first. Seek ye. No, don't do that. Seek ye first. The kingdom. The kingdom. The kingdom. The kingdom. The kingdom. Not the man. The kingdom. Not possessions. The kingdom of God. And all. to sign the house deed for the paper. God is already working it out. Why are you on your way to the interview? Just count the job. Oh, help me, Holy Ghost. Many things that happen in your life come with the choices you make. I tell people all the time, it comes with the choice. Oh, if you shoot somebody and kill them, 25 of life come with the choice. Oh, if you get drunk before you go to work, you're going to get fired because it with the choice. If you have kids and you don't protect yourself and you let with somebody and then conceive a child, tell them, well, maybe we did with the Lord. No, you can't put it on God if you didn't protect yourself and take precautions. That's good right there. That's good. People don't like to take precautions. They want to throw everything on God. All this dog was trying to get my attention. No, you should have been doing just as you should have been doing. You done been on so much word, so many times. Mother to talk to you, Bishop to talk to you, this to talk to you, that one to talk to you. You have had so much talking going on in your life. You can have a 355 minute L tape that would be a continuous running in your life. You done had so much teaching going on. They can build a school off the teaching they done gave you. And everybody keep talking to you and talking to you and talking to you. And the more they talk, the 
the more babies come out. Oh, come on, man. The more they talk, the more trouble you get in. Yeah. The more they talk, the more you be rebellious. The more the, the Bible says rebellion is a, is a form of witchcraft. The more you keep talking. See, God ain't going to keep talking. It'll come, it'll come a time. The Bible says you'll call him and he won't answer. Yeah. And people like to always talk about God and the blessing plan and, and this plan and that. 